I hope everybody's doing as well as possible out there. I'm uh, I'm on the edge. Uh, I am not gonna relapse, but I'm I'm having a moment and uh, uh, coming out of high school, the last years of high school, a couple years of freedom before I made poor choices. Uh, my best friend in this whole world, Rob Greer, uh, he passed the other day. Now we weren't tight no more. So uh, the feelings are more of contemplating the years uh, lost, but then remembering that, that short amount of time that meant everything at the time. Well, Rob loved Wasp. It, it was like, they were up there, I, I think. Well, I, yes. We went to uh, the Wasp Kiss show together. I'm, uh, it's too bad it takes his passing to bring the memories flooding back. To Rob. go back for a second because it is a reaction channel uh when we saw him uh randy piper was the guitarist and uh, he had a broken leg and he sat in his chair and he and he was still cool as hell uh yeah it was a good night now it was a long time ago and uh, i i have not vicariously lived through those moments up till now and i'm i'm not secretly fighting back tears i i I regret his quick decline, and uh, like I said, uh, 
I will keep his memory alive. And uh, go back, check out this solo. And uh, he had some hair. Uh, I can't make it all sad. Uh, Rob had just his hair helmet and two cans of Aquanet to keep this thing up and just both chain smoking young idiots. And uh, uh, I remember coming back from the concert and he lit his shit on fire. <laughs> And it's like, oh, that is it. Oh, yeah. No, nah, it was it was like a Pepsi commercial in the car. It was horrible. Of course, it's a fade because the universe hates me. Uh, now, nah, it was my choice on songs, not Rob's. I think Rob really liked uh, Headless Children and some of the more. I, I... Rob Greer was my friend. It was uh, my best friend for a while. And uh, I mean, drunken blood brothers. fifth wheel at every event and uh damn happy that he was um it appears that the years weren't the same for the two of us and uh I'm sorry I didn't know about more of the suffering. And uh, not that I uh, could have changed it. But uh, I spent a couple years here on this channel talking about finding uh, the high road or looking at things differently or fighting personal demons, if you will. And I don't think it would have changed anything, but... Those will be the holes left. And I'm, I'm assuming <clears throat> the cycle of grief will, will move on fairly quickly. We just, we didn't talk. This all comes out of the blue. I knew he was uh, getting bad a year ago. Just in case this is shown, anybody sees it, uh, I, I, friends of his saw him just on Saturday, and he said he was seemed good, and then he was gone. And uh, in no way do I think my loss is special, but this is what I do to deal with it. I'll miss my friend, and I'll, I'll miss my mem the memories. Uh, but then I'll keep the memories alive and we'll do it by uh, uh, making sure it's one of the cornerstones of those wasp reactions uh, to the universe, his loved ones, and all friends involved. This one's to Rob. It was uh, 
You know what I mean? Shotgun in my car every fucking, every day. And, and uh, you know, one more. We were... He's the one that I learned to enjoy sitting in and smoking doobies and watching the lightning. Because I should be getting home. That literal... Sitting out of the, the car, you know, that uh, I, I'm just facing it off right now. Um, uh, Wayne and Garth. Wayne's world. The whole sitting out of the, the car contemplating the universe. Rob was the guy. Whatever the ability to have a deep conversation was at 17 and 18, he was the one I had it with. And then maybe I was just talking and he was just listening. And But I remember Rob as the person that I, I ended up seeing things deeper than, you know, let's get drunk and shoot birds, which he really liked to do. So yeah, the world is weird. Uh, wasp leaping in the fire, going out to my dead friend Rob. I will keep your memory alive, bro. Uh, 